Well, welcome to day three of your fast. I hope you're not so hungry. Now, let me tell you, one of the worst things to do on a fast is meditate on when you, what you're going to eat when you come off the fast. I have that problem myself. To be honest, by day three, I, I'm tempted to meditate on cheeseburgers, pizza. I'm sure you're tempted to meditate on whatever your, fa your favorite national food is. I wanna to talk to you about praying in the spirit today. In Jude verses 20 and 21, we're commanded to build ourselves up by praying in the Spirit. Now, what is praying in the Spirit and why is it important? Praying in the Spirit is praying under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. It could be praying in your, in your own ethnic language, but many times it's also praying in a language you've never learned, whether it's a human language or as Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians 13, an angelic language, and we call that tongues. Now, what is the power of praying in tongues? Um, we know that when we're baptized in the Holy Spirit, many times the sign of that is tongues, but why is that important? In 1 Corinthians uh, 14, 14 through 16, as you'll see, um, in the guide I've prepared, the Bible says that one of the powers of praying in tongues is that when we pray in tongues, our spirit is built up, but our mind is unfruitful. What that means is, the power of tongues is, is even when you're confused, even when you don't know how to pray, even when you're cast down, when you allow the Holy Spirit to pray through you, you're built up. Now, how does this work? One of the most powerful verses on this is in Romans 8, 26 through 27. I'm gonna read it to you. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans, and he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Gordon Fee, one of the great commentators in his generation, uses, when he translates that word wordless groans, not to mean, not to mean not speaking at all, but you don't have any words for it. In other words, God has to give you words. Now, what is the power of this passage? Through the gift of tongues, those moments when you're in pain, when you're hurting, when you have no idea how to pray. When we pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit inspires us in a language we've never learned to perfectly pray in accordance with God's will. I'll never forget when I was fighting for one of my sons to live. Two of my sons have almost died. We have seven children, three boys. And I began to pray I had no words. I was in agony. And all of a sudden I found myself praying in tongues, though I did not know what I said. The next thing I knew, I was filled with peace. I was filled with joy. Why? I had connected with God. And many of you may be thinking, now this tongue thing, I've never done that. I've never heard of that. Now I've given you some great scriptures, but here's what I encourage you to do. I want you to go to the person discipling you. I want you to go to your small group leader. I want you to go to your pastor and say, hey, tell me about tongues. Typically what we discover when we're baptized in the Spirit, which is an experience with the Holy Spirit that comes after salvation, Many times the sign of that is praying in tongues. So if you're interested, if, you've ne if you want to know more, <clears throat> please talk to someone in your local church. Now I want to encourage those of you who are already praying in tongues, today find the time to take at least two minutes and just pray in tongues. Just worship in tongues. And what you're going to find is even though you don't know what you're saying, your spirit is lifted up. Your spirit is encouraged. Secondly, I want you to take that area of need that you've been targeting in your life and pray in tongues over that. Thirdly, I want you to pray in tongues over your church. Pray in tongues over your nation. If the Apostle Paul said, I pray in tongues more than all of you, it's probably pretty important for you and I. Now, let me pray for you. Holy Spirit, today as we're praying for our pastors, as we're praying for a region of the world, as we're praying for our churches, as we're praying for ourselves and our families, I thank you for the gift of tongues. Now, Lord, I love to speak to you in my native language, and our every nation family is made up of hundreds of beautiful languages around the world. You say in the book of Revelation, every tribe, tongue, and nation. But I'm asking today, Lord, and I'm thanking you for the gift of tongues, and as we worship you in the gift of tongues, as we pray in tongues, I pray for deep connection with you. I pray you would empower us on the third day of this fast. Thank you so much, Lord. Amen.